Monet's Cat by Lily Murray and Becky Cameron. Monet's Cat. Monet was a famous painter with a magic cat. Her name was Chica. She was made of delicate pottery and lay on a cushion, cool and still, until... Monet tapped her three times with his paintbrush. Then Chica came alive. She yawned and stretched and opened her eyes. Time for an adventure, but it was too wet to go outside. Chica ran down the corridor. Chica, called Monet, where are you off to? Are you getting up to mischief again? But Chica wasn't under the table or on the chair. Where could she be? Then Monet spotted her. Inside his painting. Chica, said Monet, come out of there. But Chica wasn't listening. Oh dear, sighed Monet, here we go. Monet stood in the sunshine, breathing in the rich scent of summer flowers. I remember painting this, he said. We'd all had a delicious lunch, and there's Jean, my son, playing with his blocks of wood. But where is Chica? Can you find Chica in this painting? Chica crept out from under the tablecloth and leapt onto the table. She lapped milk from a teacup and nibbled on a piece of crusty bread. Hey, yelled Jean, a naughty cat is eating our lunch. Don't worry, I'll catch her. But Chica was too fast for him. Wait, Chica, said Monet, but already Chica was leaping out of the picture and Monet came tumbling after. Oh no, not again, sighed Monet. He was too late. Chica was on to the next painting. Monet jumped in after her and landed with a bump. Around him, people ran this way and that. Where am I? Monet wondered for a moment. Then he heard a deafening choo-choo. He knew. There, the thrill of the engines, the clanking metal, the rushing feet. He was surrounded by steam and smoke billowing up towards the great arched roof. But where is Chica? Can you find her in this painting? She was dancing between clouds of steam. Monet raced after her, puffing and panning, weaving in and out of busy crowds. Stop that cat, called the station master, blowing his whistle. Then Monet saw her on board a train. Get down, Chica, you don't even have a ticket. Wherever will she go next? The seaside, said Monet for a moment to catch his breath. Flags fluttered, parasols swirled, and clouds raced across the sky, and Monet began to smile. There was something about the seaside that always made him feel holiday-ish. Can you find Chica now? And there's poor Monet sitting and resting because he's out of breath. Chica's tail twitched with excitement. She prowled. She pounced. Chica, come back, called Monet. Got you. They shared an ice cream on the sand. I don't want our adventure to end quite yet, said Monet. Let's visit one more painting. This, said Monet, is one of my favorite places in the world. I could paint the lily pond forever. The water, the flowers, the green-blue leaves. It's so peaceful. 
but Chica had spotted something. Monet looked down just as she landed with a tremendous splash. Meow, cried Chica, right in the middle of the lily pond. Oh, Chica, chuckled Monet, scooping her up. Let's go home. Monet looked back at his paintings. They were in a terrible mess. As for Chica, she put her tail in the air and padded back to her favorite spot. Monet found her curled up in a sunbeam, her eyes closed. I think you've made enough mischief for one day, said Monet, and he tapped her three times with his paintbrush. At once, Chica became very cool and still. Outside, the sun was beginning to set across the sky. What beautiful light, said Monet, picking up his paints. Sweet dreams, Chica, he whispered. Until next time. And that's the end of our story. Here are some of the actual paintings that Monet painted that we saw in the story.